What's up, YouTube? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you all through how to do a bunker mission solo. So <clears throat> we're going to press F1. We're going to go into our Moby Glass. We're going to go to our contracts, and we're going to choose Mercenary. So we have multiple choices here. So remember I told you last time, take a call to arms. So we're going to accept that. And then we're going to go back into Mercenary, and we're going to choose Defend Occupants. So we're going to track that one. And let's go ahead and head out to our ship. So today I think I'm going to take probably the Cutlass Black. Because it's a little bit easier to uh, maneuver with. Head down to the lobby. So Go ahead and check, make sure we have plenty of food and water. And we're good on both. So we can go ahead and go down and continue on and choose our ship. Right. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Oh, how polite of you. Thank you. Alright, so here's the cutlass. Vehicle select. You can ignore how it, it says caterpillar. System. Two and three. Your vehicle has been delivered to the it, uh, I don't know. It just kind of lack a better term, glitched. Uh, because I had we did a character reset whenever they uh they did the seventeen point one patch, so it kind of glitched up and gave me multiple of the same ship, and it's like. And by the way, if you're going to go get you a cargo hauler, don't get a Caterpillar. Get like a C2 or something like that. It's, it's a lot better when you're going in and out of the atmosphere. Because um, the Caterpillar, if you have to go to Orison, it will take ages. Because Orison, if you don't know, is a big gas giant. And it is... Oh, takes f roughly, I don't know, uh, about 15 minutes in a regular ship. Like, so like this ship right here will probably take about 15 minutes to get out of the atmosphere. So it's kind of annoying. Alright. So, now that we're in my ship, we have two options on how we want to do this. So we can either A press F2 and open up our Moby Glass and we can try to find uh, data center 2UB RB9-5 on here which as you can see there's a lot and it's really hard to just select the one you want to go to sometimes but see it's right there so we can set the route and we can see that a, it is going to take us there so, it'll put us directly into Quantum Drive to go to that location. So, I'll show you how, what I'm talking about here. So, let's go ahead and get off the pad. Alright. So, as you can see, it's showing up just the one. And if I take up my Quantum Drive, nothing else is showing up for me to Quantum Drive to. So, but I said there's multiple ways to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and clear Thank the route. Alright, and as you can see, now it is showing up multiple. But, if you look, it still has the little square around where I need to go. So, we're just going to go ahead and select that. And we're going to jump in the bottom. Now, I know some people... Whenever they were uh, first starting, didn't know that you can use the quantum to jump directly uh, to the planet's surface. Now, you do have to have a location that you're going to go to. So, like I'm using this data center as a location. So, uh, it's letting me jump to it. Now, it's not going to take you directly to it. It's going to take you about 
24 kilometers away and you gotta fly the rest of the way. So, okay, so now we can turn off our quantum drive and we're just gonna fly down. I do love how they have the, the clouds and everything. It looks looks amazing. And if you look, you can see like stars and I never actually paid attention, but I think like the the cosmic bodies that you see up there in the uh, the top, I think those kind of move around. But it's such a gorgeous game. And it, it's hard to believe how far the game has come. It's like Hard to describe. So, tell me what you think down in the comments below. What you think of this game? Right, so, one thing that does happen quite a lot is when I get here, even though I'm authorized to be here, the turret's still gonna fire at me. So. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So it's kind of, it kind of varies. And sometimes what it'll do, it'll fire at me for a little bit. And then when I get close enough, it'll either stop or I'll wind up shooting it and destroying it. But the thing about these locations is they'll only have one turret. So it's kind of, it's easy to just destroy the turret if you need to. But I usually try not to because I don't want to risk getting a crime stat and then winding up in jail because that's just a pain in the ass so all right we're almost within range of the turrets so there's the turret right there as you can see and it does not appear to be firing at me yet So it looks like this one's not going to fire at me, which is awesome. And so we're going to put our landing gear down, and we're going to come here and we're going to try to find the landing spot that we can get into. i tell you what, trying to fly in first person is not hard, but, you know, I'd appreciate maybe some, I don't know, windshield wipers? It's like, I can have it on the car, but I can't have it on my spaceship that I spent millions of dollars on in-game. Explain that one to me. Alright, so, looks like I'm gonna hit. Right. And we're gonna come down for... Nope. There we go. Alright. So all three of my landing feet are on the ground. And so exit. All right, so one thing you want to remember, whenever you come down and land, make sure to turn off the engines. That way, if there's like a windstorm or something, your ship doesn't get blown away, which makes no sense to me, but you know what? I'm just a human. And we got this for when we go loot afterwards. I'm not gonna bother bring it in yet. And make sure you go ahead and close your back hatch or whatever, whatever ship you're in. Make sure you close anyway for anyone to easily get into your ship. Now it does say hostiles remain three of ten at the top. Oh, look, four of ten. All right, that's just a bug. There's still probably 10 down there. All right, so I'm using the Karna rifle. I like the Karna. It's a, it's a good rifle. So, all right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the crouch position by pressing control. And I'm gonna slowly come up and we're just gonna come behind here and we're gonna see if there's any bad guys right here. Alright. I don't see nobody. 
but that don't mean nothing. There's nobody there yet. Uh, let's uh, sprint. And oh, look, see, got someone right there. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Die. And we're gonna run again, cause you know what? Yeah. All right, so we took one guy out. Let's keep going. Let's keep sprinting. All right. And before my character has a heart attack, let's stop here for a second and run again. Uh, so what I did is I did a quick takedown on the person because uh, for one it's silent, so I don't have like anybody else that will see me. And hey, die. So what I'm using is I'm using a, a knife. And I'm just running and pressing the middle mouse button. And it does a lethal takedown. If you don't have a mouse equipped, it'll do a takedown, but it won't do a lethal takedown. It'll do, uh, it'll knock him unconscious. And and the mission's done. So. It's pretty much that simple. So now we can either A, we can loot the bodies, or we can, um, yeah. These, yeah, they're not really worth it. So what you're looking for is any of the guards that might've got killed. You wanna loot their bodies because you can sell their armor, you can save their armor, and, um, yeah, just go from there. So this one looks like it has a good bit of loot crates. So, oh goodness gracious, it does have a good bit. Doesn't have any of the uh, the white loot crates that has Hadonite and Dolvine in it. But you know, that's fine because that doesn't really matter to me. What I want is the weapons because I will constantly die when I'm out here. So. I like to have spare weapons. So let's go back up. And I'm gonna bring y'all back whenever I get down into the looting area. Alright, so let's see what spoils we got today. Let's see. Ooh, a Cantu sniper rifle. So, here's one thing. Um, <clears throat> don't put it directly on your back and uh put it like you can either choose carry it or you could try to drag it and drop it but if you don't do that then you're gonna lose the scope on there so if you don't want to lose the scope then make sure you're doing it that way so i have a personal backpack to carry like small handguns uh ammo and stuff like that That's not going to get me much, but I do like the Morningstar helmets. And we're going to put this on the ground so we can toss that in. So, gonna grab it. <coughs> Alright. And I did clear, clear out this storage container before, so we're going to take a look at it and see what all we get from this run. Excuse me there, buddy. You're in my way. Oh, hey, big guy. I didn't see you there. Let's look at the second. See. I'm hoping for another um, grenade launcher because I lost both of mine due to glitches. So, and I don't feel like paying for it. I'd like to get another one. If I get one, I get one. If I don't, it's no big deal. Doesn't bother me too much. It's just nice to have whenever I'm doing like a, a drug mission because it's a lot easier than having to carry multiple different um, 
multiple different guns and tons and tons of uh, ammo for it. I can use a grenade and, you know, place it just right and it'll uh, blow up like a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of drugs. I'm going to show you all how to do a drug mission uh, soon as well. Custodian. The, custod the uh, custodian does sell for a good bit. It sells for like uh, a thousand. So, I mean, it may not seem like a lot, but you know, when when you have multiple, it it does add up. You know, don't don't get discouraged by oh, it doesn't have uh, like a huge price tag. I mean, it's I mean, it's it it adds up. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we have anything good here. I like another sniper rifle. Ooh, a rhyme. I don't think I ever fired one of those. Uh, I think this was actually taken out of the game is what it looks like. Because I don't think I could sell these. I think I have like three or four of them. But I can't sell them. So I'm not even going to bother with it. That I'm not bothering with either. Alright, so ooh. This is beautiful. Okay, let's fire off a quick shot. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, I like that. I think I'll keep that one. Keep that one for myself. And look, another curry. Right. Let's see what we got up in here. Ugh. It's got the grenade mod ammo, but it doesn't have the mod. Uh, I might have to make a trip to Grim Hex to get one, I guess. I don't know. It really sucks, because at one point you was able to get them from these loot crates, but in the last, uh, I want to say four or five bunker missions, I haven't gotten one. So it's like, uh, oh well, whatever. I like doing the bunker missions, but I also like doing the uh, the cave missions. Uh, the cave missions is really nice because it's um uh, it's really easy, and the, the best part is it's like absolutely pitch black up in there, so uh, you can just run through with like a sniper rifle and just look for the lights it's so funny it's like i will take them out from a distance and they can't see me because i don't have my light on and it's funny so yeah i'm gonna take y'all through a, a cave mission as well at some point too because like i said it is one of my favorite ones to do one of the two bodies disappeared. Well, that sucks. Kinda wanted to loot the body. I like that armor. I'll take it. Now it shows that it's modified, so it's like, okay, can I unmodify? And I don't know yet. I haven't tried. So uh oh, this one has a good scope on it. So we're gonna grab it. Alright, so with these right here, because you can no longer get size 2 scopes in the game from the shops or anything. So you want to take any size 2 uh, 4 times magnification scope off of the P4A4 anytime you find one. That way um, you can equip it to another gun that requires a size 2. Because a size 1 just doesn't get anything done like you can't see it you can't see through it worth a crap I mean it's I don't know it's like really hard to see from a distance so I would suggest saving all the P4A4 uh, size 2 scopes that you get and just storing them somewhere you can store it in the local inventory like what, the way I do it is I'll put it in my local and uh, 
anytime I, I get a corner rifle or something, I'll, um, I'll toss it on there and just, that way I have it. So here's another custodian. I'm not even going to bother with the ones that are wearing just regular clothes because they don't, I mean, they're not worth it to me. It's. In fact, I think the sell price is zero when I took it to the store to try, and I was like, oh, well, that's sucks. That was a waste of, I don't know, 10 minutes or something. Because I was looting a whole bunch of stuff, and it's like, so there's a spot usually right there, usually. Have any more loot crates? I'm not even gonna bother taking my deal down. I'm just gonna go run and look and see. Okay. Oh, look, there's another one. Let's look and see. I might just run it back up, depending on if it's a bunch of stuff or if it's. Oh, well, hello. Okay, so two sniper rifles and two shotguns. Okay. It's not a huge amount, but you know, it's it's something. Ooh, I love the arrowhead. I actually use the arrowhead for a majority of my uh, my missions. It just looks so cool. So, and the best part about it is it's um it's actually a laser that fires out. Here, I'll show you. So cool. Okay, let's open that up, let's toss this, let's change the deal to vehicle, that way I don't have to fight with the game itself, because that's just annoying, because, well, well the wind up happening is, I won't have it to where it's showing, uh, that it's being put in there. Like, I'll show you here in a second. These guys are still sitting here on alert, and there's nobody in here anymore. I'm hoping that they don't magically just show up. Alright, so let's do... Let's change it back to weapons. So, I'll put it in. Ah, it didn't do it this time. Way to make me a liar game. You'll rule the day. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish looting this one box. Now I could just take the my loot crate down here, but I don't feel like it. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that doesn't have a scope, so I'll just carry it. That's nah, light armor, I ain't worried about it. And okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing there. Alright, so the last spot to look is back here. That's that. Huh. Okay. Like something from 1987, but okay. Right, so. We did that. Okay. And I think I looked here. Did I look here? Another custodian. Now, if you want to use like a different gun, I would su uh, suggest a custodian because it is a really good gun. And I don't want you to think I'm like taking away from the custodian, but it's 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 a gun. Okay. So now we could just go ahead and leave. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna grab those bodies so we can toss them onto our ship and 
what is that? Another custodian? Uh, let's carry it lowered. Put these two up in here. No way I can. say carry it lower why didn't it just give me the option to equip it dude can you not point your loaded weapon at me seriously All right. shotgun they're not worth a lot so I usually leave them because it doesn't pay I don't want to waste the space on it so that's why I'm leaving the shotguns usually I get like I want to say 600 off of them. I mean, it's not a bad price to get off of them, but it's, this is all about time. So time management, you know, it's, you're going to take the ones that are expensive that you know you can get a, a quick buck off of and just some spare armor. How in the world did I miss that? I'll tell you what, these poor guys, it's a good thing they're dead. Because, ugh, I beat the hell out of these bodies when I'm trying to get them out of here. That would have hurt. Back up to the surface. I'm hoping that eventually CIG adds the extra levels to go down to. Because right now you only go to level 1. But there's like, apparently like 10 levels or something like that to these bunkers. It's like, you know, I'd like to see the rest of the bunker at some point. I think it'd be fun going down even further, exploring deeply into the uh, bunker. I mean, come on. Think about it. You know, you start off on level one, you get... Um, you, you kill, like, a couple guys there, and then you want to go down to level two and go see if there's any more to kill, and you go down and you keep going. Go all the way to level ten, you know, it's like... You can make the challenge even harder as you go down. I mean, that'd be fun. I'd enjoy it. Give me more reason to do the bunker missions, you know? It's, it's like... Uh, this is the most tedious process, is getting everything back to your ship. So, let's hope that whenever I put everything onto my ship, that it doesn't blow up. Because we get that a lot. Like, all of a sudden, I'm sitting here and I got seven bodies and all of a sudden my ship just blows up out of nowhere. It's like, what? Well, there goes an hour of my time. Yay. So. And once upon a time, these guys used to be wearing Inquisitor armor or... Um, the ACP armor and it used to be the sea green which I never liked the sea green look but it's like I would take it because I was so tired of um, like I would die all of a sudden due to either lag or random glitch or something along those lines and then I'm sitting here I was like well I have no more armor so what am I gonna do but so, the, the thing that I do is I'll just take the bodies, I'll loot the bodies, and I'll put everything in my vehicle inventory, and then I'll go back to, like, whatever station I'm working out of. So, like, right now I'm working out of Port Tressler. So, I'll take everything that I get here, and I'll go drop it off at Port Tressler, and just have it there for whenever I need it. So... But if you're working out of, like, Bajini Point or Port Ocelar, then just do the same thing there. Just 
drop everything off from your vehicle and put it in the, uh, the station. And that way, you know, whenever you die and respawn, you'll have an assortment of weapons and armor there ready for you to use to try and go back and reclaim your body. Because, let's face it, you're going to want to try to go back and reclaim everything that you just lost. So Now, the one thing that, that is annoying as well <clears throat> is, let's say uh, you die while doing a bunker mission well if the bunker mission completes you are no longer authorized in that bunker so you are SOL for everything you had unless you want to go get you a crime stat but then that's up to you I don't suggest it I just say consider it as a loss and just move on so that was it uh, if you found this video helped you at all, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one.